Right. Those We're going to find out. Here we go. Game one coming up right now. Yoshi versus Richter Belmont. Starting Ooh. off on PS2 as per usual. Here we go. Okay. I love the holy water from downtown to start off. Send a message. Uh, I like that cross, too. Cross, actually, if you throw it backwards, on the way back is stronger. So it can go through other projectiles and just is a, a stronger projectile. But obviously, you need to wait that time for it to come back. Nice. Right. Primok loves to use that as a setup shot. I've seen it a dozen times playing against this guy. And Air. it's coming out pretty well right now, getting combos, too, with the back airs. You always got to look at Belmont Cross. It's their best friend in so many ways. Defensively, if it's out and you're trying to combo, it can interrupt it. And also, they can combo off of it. For It's a win condition for them, too, as long as, as well as a defensive tool. So if you can shut that down, big W. I'm seeing a pretty consistent trend of Holy Water and Cross. One or the other, and then the other follows right after. And that's just the defense and offense right now for Primok. Hunter down. All right. Forward something. I like the detail one. Try to confirm it. Didn't see anything, so nothing. Pull it down. A lot of holy water covering the ground right now, too. To me, that says uh, Dom, you know, not very airborne, you know? Get swatted out of there quite a bit. Good movement into a back air, too. If that axe missed. Went the wrong way, but hey, we get the up B. Not quite going to kill just Ooh. yet, but the axe! Great snipe coming out for Krimok. Can't be sleeping on that neutral B. Very, very powerful tool. You neutral air, you can kind of lower priority on that move, so you can aerial it pretty safely. Oh, careful! Oh, oh the Belmont Classic! Your disadvantage, that, it's like uh, it's like the Green Goblin mask, that, that down there for Belmont. Do it, do it, do it, and then you do it. The bounce Indeed. is one of the best feeling things in the game. It's so fluid. It's wild. It's so cool looking, too. Oh, and again, well, and as Belmont, you only have so many options of disadvantage. Right. That, that's like the number one go-to that you think about. All right, well, Krimok up to 70% on this second stock. Getting comboed a little bit right now. That down air is still screaming. As you mentioned, Green Goblin Mask. It, feel, it, it feels right when it works, and when it doesn't work, you're like, that was dumb. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. I should have done that. I shouldn't have done that. But here we go. More and more projectiles filling the screen. Krimok Ooh. starting to come back now. Double jump going to be used up. Axe going to go the wrong way again. Yeah. And again, you can see there's Yoshi bypassing that classic ledge trapping. Not going to get an opportunity to set up the Holy Waters at ledge while Yoshi's floating in that, that zone that he goes to. A B, yep. Frame six out of shield, does like 17 damage when it's fresh. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy defensive up B this character has. Still kind of looking for that up B option as well. Followed by the axe. Tried it again. And nice. Right nice. Out by Holy Water. Ooh, the grab. I thought we'd see an up smash maybe, but you got, I like it. Go for the grab because you know Yoshi's going to mash that double jump. Just get what you can. Mm. And the axes too are doing a really good job at covering the high recoveries you're seeing Dom go for. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's something that you see, too, is like the wind conditions for uh, Belmont in this matchup can be tough. Like, where do you catch Yoshi with a stray hit that's going to KO? Fresh F tilt? Hey, that'll work. 170, he'll do it. All right, 111. How much can we do to get a little bit of extra percent? Great use of the down B. Trying to flicker a shield break, but not going to work out. The up smash going to come through. And now it's even percents on last talk here in game one. Okay, good offense starting up. Holy Water's coming through. Back step, I like it, into the F tilt. Holy water coming through. It's a lot Ooh. of careful neutral, but these projectiles just let Belmont play the game a lot more. They have so much control when they're in their flow in neutral, right? Like, it feels so good. It feels so difficult. Uh, I played Nick C many years ago, and he said at one point, it's like playing Galaga. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to navigate through this whole minefield of bullshit that you're throwing at me, right? <laughs> feels great as a Belmont. Feels bad as the other character. Great job. That's a W in neutral for Belmont. If you force him to approach in a bad way in the air, you could shield up B. It's good. 17 damage. It adds up. Double jump, high. keep oh, being expended oh. and going high. If Kermot can just get on that a little bit more, I think we'll see a little bit good stuff. But the forward smash is going to go wide. Down air not quite going to connect into anything. Yeah. Dom definitely fighting on the back foot right now, though. Again, it's so weird to say Dom when there's Belmont on the screen. It's, not, yeah. it's so weird. It's so weird. The muscle memory is crazy. F tilt yet again, though. I think I love the gameplay for Grimoth. Keep it nice and easy. Eventually, the KOs will come, right? Like, eventually, we'll get there. 170 last time. We're getting close to that 170 again. F tilt or forward air. Oh, down air. Up B, yes. Yeah! He's going to connect at the top there. Got the spike. Hit confirmed it, too. Nice job by Krimok taking that one down. Very Hey, it was a defensive down air. You think he's going to stop anytime soon? I don't. But that's exactly what you want to see. You want to do that every time you hit that down air button. That's the dream combo, the down air up B. It works it's pretty so reliably well. Like, oh. It's so sick. I it, played Belmont for a very short period <laughs> at the beginning of the game, and I still remember the dopamine of that down air. Didn't everybody, right? They were like a top tier character when the game first came out, and then it's like, oh, never mind. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Up B2. Boom. Mm. Magnifique. Yeah, and you got the you got the spike hit too, which is really cool. The hitbox on that down air is actually pitiful. Like it is tiny to be able to hit that, especially the spike hit. So Primox hit like Krimok's like not afraid to just down air and you got a game win for it. Oh, the skin change too. Okay. Mixing it up. I like that. We're going to battlefield for game two here. 
That counter pick coming out for Yoshi, and I love this choice. Obviously, great utilization of the up tilts and up airs. Get some ladder combos going on this character. Uh -huh. And also, stops out some of those down air approaches that we've been seeing Primot go for a lot. So this is a really good counter pick coming out. Trying to go for the forward air, too. I like this play. I like this confidence we're seeing from Dom. Having those platforms and ways to navigate around two can really help. The other counter argument is that Belmont, they cover so much space with their projectiles that it feels like you're stuck. You're stuck in one area at a time. Bigger characters have a harder time on the stage, like Bowser, someone I would take here, or Ganon, or someone you know like that. Yoshi, though, can navigate between the platforms. Like you said, good platform movement is going to be key when it comes to uh, winning against Belmont. Tries to go for the up smash, carrying the stock a little early. They were getting another spike, but it's too low for the uppy to come out. Not quite going to get punished, Hold but on. now in this difficult situation, nice. he's going to make it back against the Yoshi. Absolutely. Looking for the up air, too. Down tilt. Going to get punished. Actually, Krimbuck's been doing really well. Oh, down no air. No way. The, oh. Did he just down air up a Yoshi? Okay, <laughs> hold on. What year is it? Come on, man. Flash to the past. Uppy going to come out yet again. This great neutral breaking tool. The axe going to force the air dodge. Checkmate with the back air. Yeah, it's a lot of raw hits that you need to get with Belmont in neutral in order to close out stocks, right? The back air, forward tilt, as we've seen. Hey, if you're feeling crazy, you can go for the crappy grab, maybe forward throw off the stage, too. 154 right now, trying to see what we can do with these disjointed yep. projectiles. 46% built up and still hanging on to this first stock. This is a really good Ooh. lead right now for Krimok. Great movement on the ground, too, from Krimok. Dash backing a little bit, F tilting, good spacing. Now Dom needs to find the KO here. How are we going to get it? Some, a go, good parry. No punish, though. I like the holy water. That's a good idea right there. Don't go for guaranteed damage. Go more for a setup. You are a Belmont player. You know what I'm saying? Right, especially that high percent. Anything that's a little bit safer, you want to be going for these forward airs. It feels like Dom is off by just frames, and it's unfortunate. But you got to find Ooh. your kill options at this point. You are about to lose your second stock and still need to take the first. This is a bad situation to be on Ooh. a counter pick. I thought that was going to be a back air. Must have been a misinput turn around something. But up air is going to connect. Able to punish the up B, which is also very important against Belmont. All right, more axe projectiles coming out. Up B. There yep. we go. Oh, well, not quite. That up B is lying when it comes to being a KO move. Like, it just doesn't. Especially because you usually let it rip out of shield so much, you stale it. 158. Krimok doing so good at just playing this space. These up B, though, they're starting to come out a little bit too much. It feels like Dom is starting to catch on, be able to punish it a little bit more often. Right. Might want to look into mixing that up soon, but the Holy Water still not going to get the punish off Ooh. it. Yeah, I think we want to see more of this perfect use of the stage. And again, eggs in neutral going to be helping out. Up smash to pay, punish the landing. All right, how many down? All right, can we get a down air counter chat? Come on now. <laughs> Come on. He's doing it's like a, it's double digits night, already. Symphony of the Night speed run or something. Like, he's just hold up. Down air. Oh, air dodge. Hey, we Good mix up. There we go. We're mixing it up. I like it. I like it. All right, 178, though, is starting to become a bit of a liability. You need the kill on this Yoshi. You're at 111 at this point. That percent nice. lead that you got. It's gone away a little bit, but getting that stock right there, that still gives Krimok plenty of time to work with this new fresh stock. Ooh, 28% right off the bat's pretty good. Absolutely. Dom actually closing the gap really well, too. I mean, this was looking like a three to one stock situation at one point. Dom, one good hit away, one good edge guard away. However, unable to find it there. Good up piece, good job with the dash attack, creating more Ooh. space. Trying to catch that double jump there, too. Oh, nice. Up air again, going to take that stock for Dom, though. Now, this is the scary thing is Belmont. All of a sudden, you've been winning all game. Now it's last stock. You're at last hit. You just are. You go off stage, you might just lose your stock super easily. Down air, though, great damage. Also, the verticality on the stage has been really, really good for Dom, right? Being able to ladder up, go across the platforms, not running into up beat a shield quite. Oh, fade away. Does not like those axes? OK. Yeah, you just got to play this nice. super careful spacing game, and Dom is doing a really good job of catching everything right now. 80% to work with, too. You have such a strong lead. What do you do if you're Dom here? Big chilling right now. Next neutral win, you get him off stage, and you're, you're chilling. You can steal a game very easily. Again, the Belmont player needs to be afraid here, too. Try with the up smash, up B yet again. It's these, so that's the thing. It's like a lot of up uh, shields are coming out. So I'd like to see uh, command grabs in the air from Yoshi. You know what I mean? Mm. That's a great opportunity to mix the Belmont up, make them guess a little more of their up B, and then hard punish it once they guess wrong. Trying to let that forward smash trip a little bit too aggressive. Not going to be fully killed for it, but Eat. last legs at this point for Ooh, sure. So scary. Dom barely able to survive once again off stage. The axe is. Hoping one of them hits, but Egg's clearing the way. And again, as Belmont, this is where it gets so scary. Off stage, you could be put off stage. You might be fighting for your life just like that. That. Egg. There you go. Command Egg. grab. You called it out. Backer, though, Back out of the though. command grab. And that Egg lay, not quite going to work out. Krimok is taking game two. 2-0 in the set. Didn't realize old buddy didn't have headphones on. I shouldn't have coached it. My fault. <laughs> yeah, just so you know, we are sitting 
directly behind the play. Hi! <laughs> Yikes. I'd be shouting about Yoshi's command grab. Uh, maybe he's focused on the game. Maybe maybe it's not coaching. If you can hear us, pick Ganon first. If you can hear us, pick Ganon. <laughs> Just, you don't have to pick him as a character. Oh, he up. Okay, okay, we're good. He can't hear us. Nah, I mean, oh, I mean, this has to be lying. Hold on. I don't know about that. Gotta, gotta seem unsuspicious. <laughs> yeah, right. You the, rig, <laughs> the game, the game's still going. Got to keep the game. All right, back to Battlefield, not changing up the counter pick. Game three right now. Krimok on game point here. How do you answer back if you're dumb? That's what we need to see. So there forward air, the classic. Well, Belmont two-piece. Love it. Step back, forward tilt. Very good. All these nice little, like, quick combos from the yeah, Belmont. Bad. It feels like exactly what you want with this character. One hit, another, you're done. Just want to put him in that bad situation. Neutral air, I like it. Falling up air would have been... Primo right there. That would have been so sick. I love their up air so much. It's so fun. It's fun. It's a fun vertical hitbox. Yeah. And when you hit it, it kills really well, too. It's just, uh -huh. It's a fun move. And I like fun moves. What's up? Are you in double? Oh, Yo, you're still All right. in? Krimok going to get it with the forward tilt, though. Going to get the first lock at 43%. That is perfect. Thanks, big dog. Anyway, up airs. Yeah, this is looking up, up the top. Yeah. Come on. You got to move it down. Right? I think that's Goku's my number one bit. That down air has been like Krimok's best soldier in this yeah, fight. Been. And I think like the thing with their down air is like if they're not punishing it, great thing to happen in the mix-up. But once they punish it once like super hard, you start to think like that hasn't quite happened this set. You know what I mean? There's been a few times, but it hasn't been like major. Like that, that up smash was a good one. But it's beyond like, that, it hasn't been anything too impactful. And to be honest, Belmont disadvantage, sometimes there's no teaching them to not do something because their options are so limited. Sometimes right. you just be down airing because it works. Or sometimes you down air because you don't feel like you have another choice. Either way, it's working out for Krimok, so hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? I'm not exactly. gonna stop down airing if it's working. If it won me game one and it's getting it's bailing me out of bad situations, I'm gonna keep doing it. Might as well. 103 gonna grab the axe and that will take the second stock. Krimok up two stocks in this game three here. You take another good hit right here. Richter's a big boy. Yeah, a lot beefier than you expect, right? He's normal guy weight, right? Like that's Which is beefier about. than you expect Snake, for most characters. Snake, uh, the Shotos, Terry, yeah. they're all around the same weight. Belmont, they're just dudes. Normal human weight. Exactly. Dude weight is what I call it. <laughs> I think it's all, all boys. Here we go. Axe. Oh, going to the ledge is dangerous. Ooh. Oh, Clank, yep. Down tilt is a great option. Quick option. That Honestly, that forward air might have KO'd if it connected. Back throw. Already said it, man. The nah, double jump. Oh. Yeah, too far. Canceled the jump and went with the up a little too fast. But that's okay. You still got two stocks. That's right. I love the idea of an early up B, though. Like, defend yourself on the way back. You've got to mix up your timing on your up B and when you tether the ledge, because a lot of people, oh, up smash, charge it, Ooh. ran up and charged it. Nice. Not quite going to take it, but 107. Axe, I love it. Axe to read like an air dodge or a fadeaway or an aerial is really good. I, I think that's great, because up B was not true there. Really good recognition for Krimok. Good job building up there you with go. that down air. We're starting to get these combos, but is it too little too late uh -oh. at this point? Here comes up oh, B. There it is. Off the top. Little Castlevania. All the way up. A little bit of a